I am uh, Salas Hanji Pamlu. I'm the Chief Executive of the Probation Chiefs Association. Um, the first thing to say is that there is a welcome emphasis on rehabilitation and a recognition that it uh, requires more than just simply punishment to achieve the objectives of reducing reoffending. Uh, in particular, I think that the proposals to help tackle those who, who are released from uh, prison, uh, particularly on short sentences, and to provide supervision and added support uh, are, are important. Uh, there are certainly a gap in the, in, in the current system uh, and that the proposals intend that uh, it should be addressed is, is certainly a welcome objective. The problem, of course, is that uh, the proposals as framed uh, require the dismantling of the current system of probation uh, ostensibly to, found, to fund the changes that uh, in relation to uh, tackling the, the gap in the system. Uh, uh, this in effect means reinventing uh, probation uh, in order to deal with uh, a, a problem which, for which there, there are uh, alternative uh, solutions. Uh, uh, it certainly would be impossible for uh, the uh, reforms to have focused on improving the already well-performing uh, probation trusts achieving economies and, and, uh, in that way and building on that uh, as a mechanism for providing uh, effective supervision uh, and support for uh, short sentenced uh, offenders being released from prison. Um, I, 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 linking to my earlier answers, uh, plainly a, a key opportunity would, would be uh, the possibility of gaining access to effective services. Uh, we know and the TR program, the Transforming Rehabilitation Program, has recognised that very many offenders have mental health issues, they have drug addiction issues, alcohol issues, housing, employment, skills, all of that. Uh, it's certainly um, something that we would like to see uh, um, uh, improved and it has the potential to do that. The, the risk, of course, is that in dismantling the system, you uh, deconstruct and uh, lose uh, much of the gains that have been made by probation trusts over the last 10 years, and certainly uh, all the evidence points to a, a steady increase in performance uh, in terms of outcomes uh, by probation trusts for those uh, uh, for, those for whom they, they, they've had a responsibility. And so there's a very real risk that actually in seeking to achieve and close the gap that's in the system at the moment, uh, you lose much of the good work and the, the partnership that's been built up by trusts and probation uh, workers uh, over the past 10 years. Um, uh, the, the plans, uh, as, uh, as I understand them, uh, intend for sizable contracts contract lots to be competed uh, um, uh, for the new services. Uh, I have to say that this very much looks like favouring large prime organisations, that is to say organisations with deep financial uh, uh, pockets um, uh, and substantial other resources. Uh, the uh, intention is for small voluntary sector providers to be part of the supply chain. Uh, and while I think some of the lessons uh, from the work programme may have been learned, um, there's no uh, uh, evidence at this point in time that actually uh, voluntary sector providers, um, uh, small providers, will be in any better position uh, than, than has been the case uh, under the work programme. Um, uh, it is certainly the case now that very many voluntary sector providers do work, do, do are contracted by probation trusts uh, and again uh, I, I think it would have been uh, possible under, under a, 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 an arrangement which continued with probation trusts for, for there to be enhanced uh, services that way. Um, so in effect uh, you would replace a local system with, with, a, with, a, 
with a nationally uh, driven uh, organisation. Uh, Mr Grayling seems to be determined to push through his proposals. Uh, uh, I think the result of this is that probation services will be uh, controlled and managed uh, at the national level, um, uh, either in terms of the new National Probation Service, which will be a national service uh, as part of the National Offender Management Services, and in terms of the large contracts to be awarded and managed uh, centrally. Uh, the scope for uh, local in innovation uh, and uh, involvement will be probably be, be more limited, uh, uh, despite the, the, the intentions of, of the changes. I, I think that will be an unintended consequence. Uh, there will probably be more providers uh, uh, in, in, in this new world, or, or, or certainly. Um, Ideally, we would like to see uh, also in this new world an independent and vibrant probation institute, as has been proposed. Uh, this is one of the few things that, uh, that we would welcome as a, as a, as a positive change. Uh, and we see that as working to support the professional development of uh, probation workers uh, whose skill, um, experience and knowledge uh, are the real uh, uh, guarantee of standards and keeping the public safe.